Hi guys, Angie Bell with My Furry Treasures. I'm coming around. Hi guys. Just a second, let me fix my mirror. Make sure I'm, oops. Okay. There we go. One second now, so hopefully I don't mess this up too bad. And uh, there we go. I know I should have this fixed before I get on here, but like I tell you, every time it changes once you sit in front of the camera, you turn the camera on, it's just different. I tape on my phone. I have a brand new phone, a pretty new phone, and I love how it tapes. I, I can use the editing software on my phone. I can just download from the stores different editing software. It's much easier to edit. So, well, the little bit of editing that I do. Anyway, you guys, this is a Dollar Tree haul. So let's get to the Dollar Tree haul. Um, it's a big one. Like always, when do I do small dollar? When do I ever come on here and say, I got a small Dollar Tree haul? You know me. I can't be doing it small. Okay. I try, but it doesn't work. All right. This is a repurchase. And this is an exciting repurchase, okay? I picked up, <coughs> excuse me, four more of these. I picked up four more of the gnomes. Aren't these so adorable, you guys? And the reason I picked up four more, and I'm going to show you why. Um, I just, okay, I was only going to pick up maybe two I, to drink out of. One extra and one if I break one. Because I'm the only one in this house that drinks out of mugs. Um, but I watch these mugs sit there. For almost two weeks I already had bought a set of four or three I think a set of four already and I went to another Dollar Tree by my house and they sat there for like two weeks nobody kept buying them nobody kept and then I had an idea which I'm going to show you what I did with the other four so then I didn't have any more ones that I could actually drink out of and there were there were four of them they've been sitting there for two weeks so I said you know what I'm taking all four <laughs> I got back up upon backups and whenever finally friends can come over um, then, uh, I have a little mug for friends. So, how cute, a little tea party with a mug gnomes. So cute. Okay, now, I'll, I'll show you what I did with them. Did I, oh man, I didn't grab the pink mugs. I thought I grabbed them. Okay, I, I didn't grab them. I'm not going to worry about it, but I'm going to show you. I sprayed these gnome mugs. They look so cute. I sprayed them pink. This is what I did is I grabbed the wrong thing. Okay, remember the little gnomes? They came in like the the hat was red or green or whatever. I painted this pink, the gnomes. Well, I painted the cups just the same color as this. I don't know what I grabbed this thinking it was the cups anyway. But this is the color I painted them. So I'm just showing you this so I can show you the color. And so I'm going, I, those, obviously I can't drink out of them now because I spray painted them, right? But I'm going to use them for, um, in my um, kitchen. I do a pink shabashi Christmas, which you guys all know about. But I want to, I'm doing like a pastry candy um, theme in my kitchen. So I thought pink little gnome cups will look really cute. Like little hot chocolate cups, but they're not usable. Just for decor. Okay. Um, they had yams there. I don't know if this is the best price or not, but they had them there and I want to make a uh, sweet potato pie. You call it sweet potato pie, but you use yams to make it. Whatever. So got my yams to make my sweet potato pie. Um, picked up, this is Monday, but panty liners, this is the best deal. You guys, you get $44. Pick up your panty liners and your maxi pads at Dollar Tree. Best deal. Okay. I don't like to go on and on about mundane things, but I do like to say it, especially if it's like a, something that's a good deal and you can say it can save you guys money. So, okay. Um, next. It can save us all money. Okay. These are so flipping adorable. I absolutely love them. Okay, so I picked up these containers I picked up in red. I know this doesn't match my pink shabby sheet Christmas, but I'm not matching, trying to match that with this. Um, just a second, you guys. I'm not trying to match it with my Christmas. I just, I'm going to do some baking uh, for my husband. 
for his birthday. And um, I'm going to put his, the, the stuff I'm going to bake for him, um, I'm going to put them in these containers. So these will be really nice. Look at, I love these. Look how nice these are. Aren't they so cute with the, with the gingerbread and the candy canes? And look how damn big it is. Look at my head. That's crazy. Love it. And then the other one I love, this one I love the most because I love the color. I love the Robin's Egg Blue. Isn't it cute? And these would be so cute. Um, and I love it because it's the uh, hot cocoa cups and gingerbread. Adorbs. Absolutely adorable. And this would be so cute as a gift to bake whatever. Or, if, you know, if you know a good, someplace that makes really good cookies or whatever, um, don't bake yourself. Just put them in here. And what a great family gift. If you if you made or went and bought a bunch of bakery goods and you put them in these. Oh, how cute. Then they have something to keep their baked goods in and they can eat out of it. They can serve out of it. These are just cute. And then look, they stack right up. So this will be perfect. Oh, that'll be a good, that'll be a good um, thumbnail. I wanted to say something to you guys real quick about thumbnails. Um, Whenever I pose for a thumbnail, I'm not really, what happens when people do that is they pause for a thumbnail because if you stay still for so long, it'll make a thumbnail out of, out of it. But um, I go to Canva because I always have three, like three pictures. I use my camera, which, and I use time delay on it. So it delays it 10 seconds so I can do the picture. And then I, um, and then uh, I use those pictures and I put them into Canva. So what I really do, I'll explain this really quick. Sorry, if you don't want to hear about this, just fast forward. But some people really want to know about this. I take the pictures on my phone. I do a 10 second time delay so I can take the pictures. Then I take those pictures and I send them all three or four of them, usually three of them, four of them to my Facebook. That's like my portal. And then, um, and also then I kind of advertise my Dollar Tree haul on Facebook, which is great too. And then, um, then I go to Facebook. I save e all, three pictures to my pictures on my computer, my pictures on my computer. So then I go to my pictures or then I go to Canva and Canva is a place where um, you can um, pick different situations. I usually have a, a, a section of, of photos where, I could, where it's like this big and then two smaller ones. So you can choose that and, um, and then you get your pictures out of my pictures that are on your computer. Can you do all this on the computer? And then you can also, um, there's a thing on the side where you can say, it says choose a title. So you can put a title on there. I usually put Dollar Tree Hall and you can choose colors and fonts and it's really simple. So if you're wondering how to create a thumbnail, that's a really quick, simple way to create a thumbnail and you go to Canva to do it. Okay. All right. Sorry about that for anybody who didn't want to know, but I've had people ask me about that before. And so there's a quick explanation. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I don't want to show you those yet. Sorry to go off on that tangent, but I've been wanting to talk about that for a while. Okay, and then I always pick these up. You guys know I pick these are like a repeat buy. I buy these all the time. Whenever I see them, I pick up two, three, four of them because I like to keep a stack of these, either pink ones and the Robin's Egg Blue, in the corner of my craft room. And, um, and I put my projects in there, knitting, mixed media. A lot of my Christmas DIYs are in these baskets waiting for me to put up as decor. So these baskets are phenomenal. Also, these baskets, be, what else would these be great for? For like gift bags. Somebody would get this instead of a gift bag, they'd be in heaven. They'd rather have this, I'm sure, than a gift bag. They can reuse it. Okay. I bought, these are so beautiful. I have a story. I have a story with everything. But look how beautiful these are. Are these gorgeous? And I don't have just two. Uh, I bought a case of these um, Dollar Tree Online. I think I had to buy 25. 20 or 25. And I wanted to pick up 10 or 15 anyway. So I'm like, it's only another 10. So I might as well just get them um, online. And really quick, the story, of, look how gorgeous. Look how classy they look, for one. Aren't those just classy? They stand up really well. They look like glass, but they're real hard pretty plastic so if they fall nothing will happen so these little clear deer will be all over my house intermixing all my decor everywhere i have 25 i absolutely love these and i might also give a few away so you know five or six of them i might give away throw them in happy mail and stuff um 
I never saw these at Dollar Tree. I guess these have been there for the last maybe a couple of Christmases. I never saw them. I, heard, I was looking for them. I found mine at 99 cent store. They only had like maybe three or something. So I bought three. I've been wanting these for two or like two years, maybe three, three Christmases. So when I seen these and I, and I kept looking for them at Dollar Tree and I couldn't find them. The day after I bought them, <coughs> I went and I saw them and they had like 15 of them. I was like, but I had already ordered them. So anyway, and that was the first time I'd ever seen them in the stores at Dollar Tree. And also, um, uh, it was only at one Dollar Tree. I've never seen them in any of the other ones. So anyway, so these might still be online if you want to pick up 20 or 25 of them. But I just think it's worth it because they're fabulous. And I've been wanting these for a, like a long time. Like probably the last three Christmases. I was like, if I ever see those at Dollar Tree or I ever see them at the 99 cent store, I'm buying, I'm picking up 10 or 15 of those. So my tea is sitting here steeping. Okay. Next. Okay. I picked up more of these. This is kind of the same story as those gnome mugs. I have this one Dollar Tree and I don't know. The stuff is, it's going, but not as fast as the other ones. And I bought probably 15 of these already of all the different size of all the, there's three different, um, three different types or sizes of these, uh, sleds, but I love this one. So I picked up four more and because again, these have been sitting there for like two weeks. Nobody's picking up the last bit of these sleds. And I just thought, you know, I love these. I have been um, um, painting them pink, painting them white. I put my gnomes, I put my gnomes on them. I have them right back there. And then those gnomes right there are sitting on two sleds. It's so cute. They're great on the tree as Christmas decorations. I, hang, I hung them up on my tree. I painted them pink. Um, they're great for so many cute DIYs. So I thought, I might as well have four extra. So, I mean, I already bought 10 or 15 of them. <laughs> because they had three different types though. So I bought like four or five of each type. And then, um, I saw these, these are the last four there. They've been sitting there for weeks, at least a couple weeks. And I got them. Um, I needed one more of these. I have three of them, but I want four or five of them. Or maybe I have four. I want at least five of them because I want to make coasters out of them. I want to paint uh, black and white McKenzie checks on them and use them as coasters. And also maybe I'll detach something to the back and use them for Christmas decorations, but my tree is decorated. So I probably won't because I can't be fitting nothing else on that tree. Okay. Did I need more of these? No. <laughs> but if you, um, did I do this on, do I do, a, did I do this on a video? I think I did this on a video. I hope. Yeah. I think I did this on a video where I decorated these. If not, it's on my Facebook. So you can click below and see. You can see all my DIYs. If I haven't done a, a video, um, you go to my Facebook, just click below um, and you can see all my DIYs for fall, for Christmas, but these are fabulous. I did these up really, really cute. I painted them pink. I used, um, the flat back rhinestones and pearls. And I used the, um, the little, um, gingerbread, the little wooden gingerbread man and glued those on. And anyway, they turned out super cute. So, and there was two more sitting there. So it's like people just stopped buying stuff about two weeks ago at one, at one of my Dollar Trees. Not all of them. At one of them for the Christmas stuff. So these are just stragglers. So I picked this up. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess maybe I have six of these now because I picked up another one. That I'd love to do a video and show you how to do Mc the, the black and white McKinsey checks. And the reason they're called McKinsey checks is just not regular checks because they do, you do a distressing in the black and you do a distressing in the white and it makes them very whimsical and all the squares are not perfect. So that's what makes them a, a McKinsey child, um, black and white check. If you don't know what McKinsey child is, look up McKinsey child dupes here on YouTube and you'll see. There's like a ton. I have a, quite a few also, of um, McKinsey child dupes, so. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about this really quickly. This is something kind of mundane, but not really. This is super, super important. This is Himalayan pink salt. Okay. Um, there's another package they have now. It looks a little bit different than this, but what you're looking for is you're looking for the word Himalayan salt and for the salt to be pink. Um, 
I am a certified herbalist. And one of the classes I took when I became a certified herbalist was a class that said, change your salt, change your oil, change your life. And, um, and the importance of Himalayan salt is this. And I, I've, I've explained this before, but just really quickly, when you have white table salt, um, all of the minerals have been taken out of that salt. That's why it's white. Then they take those minerals and they sell them to drug companies to make drugs. Okay. Then, so then that's why, because the minerals aren't in their proper proportions. That is why, um, you get high blood pressure from having salt because they took the damn minerals out. Now they're not in the proper proportions and that's what it causes is high blood pressure and other problems too. So, and people always say, oh, I don't, I'm, I'm going to take salt out of my diet. That's a sad thing to take salt out of your diet because salt is what what really brings out all of the um, seasonings when you're cooking and everything. That's just sad to live without salt. Now, if you do, if you have the pink Himalayan salt, replace all your white salt with this. You can have as much salt as you want. And the more salt that you use, the healthier you'll be. You won't have high blood pressure. Um... You won't have a lot of other ailments that you can have. Plus, the minerals with this is insane. The minerals are in their proper proportions. So it's super healthy for you. The more you the more you use it, the better off you are. It doesn't bloat you up. All that crap that the white salt does, does not do it to you. And this is real salt. This is what real salt looks like. It's a color. Like if you see red salt or black salt, there's pink salt, white salt, black salt, and I'm sure there's some other colors too. That's what salt looks like. It's not white. Okay. Even if it's sea salt, that's not the right one. So anyway, you can believe me or not believe me, but you can also look this information up um, online and l learn about Himalayan salt. And there's a bunch of other benefits of Himalayan salt too. So look it up yourself also. You don't just have to listen to me. Okay. I know that was kind of a big spiel, but I just think this is super important. And you can get this for 99 cents for a pound of it. That's insane, you guys. Because if you go to Trader Joe's or or, or any of those other or any other places, you're going to pay way more than 99 cents for pink salt. I bought like 10 of these. I have a ton. I'm never running out of pink salt. So, okay. I bought a bunch a long time ago. So, I have like 10 of them. 15. That's the only salt we use in our house. That's it. Okay. Um, next. You guys are my friends. And if I can help you with something like that. And this is the other thing. I, I remember I told you I took the class um, when I became an herbalist that said change your salt, change your oil, change your life. The oil was coconut oil. You can use coconut oil to, to fry in, to saute in. You can use it as a butter. You can use it to make chocolate. Instead of using a butter, you can use coconut oil. But real butter is good for you too. Real butter, not margarine, real butter. But coconut's even better. And the when you use coconut oil, it doesn't settle on your body as fat. It uses it for nutrition. And if it doesn't, and if you, if your body can't use it, it'll store, it'll save it until it needs to use it. It will never store it as fat on your body. So, and also, it won't clog up your arteries because it's a real oil. Uh, canola oil, vegetable oil, all those oils are fake, okay? And that's why your arteries get clogged up because you're eating fake oil. Olive oil is real and is good for you, but it can't be heated. Coconut oil can be heated at very high, high temperatures and not get toxic. I guess um, olive, olive oil gets toxic when it gets so heated up to a certain degree. So anyway, change your oil, change your salt, change your life, and it's true. Okay. I went off on some tangents today, but hey, they're for your health, and I think that it's worth talking about. Okay, moving on. Um, I picked up a ton of these tins, okay? You guys are going to be like, girl, why would you pick up so many damn tins? Okay, I already had picked up a bunch of tins, and I painted them pink, okay? So these are the ones I picked up before. I painted them pink, and those are macarons. And these are going to be tins that are going to help decorate my um, bakery kitchen for Christmas. This is another one with macarons that I did. Aren't these cute? That baby pink. And this one says um, French, a French bakery. So perfect. Aren't these cute? I wish I would have bought more of this one. I've only seen this once at one store. They already sold out of all of them. And all my other stores did not have the cylinder one. And I heard someone say they never saw the cylinder one. So I did pick up three. I wish I would have picked up more of those. 
Okay, so I picked up a bunch of more tins. Now, I'm not painting these ones pink. I picked up a bunch to alter. I want to, I just love the way tin feels. It just feels, I don't know. But I picked them up to alter. I want to make them look very old and rustic and rusted, um, aged and things like that, and use them for storage in my art studio. So that's why I picked all these up. But if you don't want to do that, look how cute this one is, though. If you want it for what it's supposed to be for. Isn't it cute? I love this one the way it looks. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And then I love this size. This is a really good size. I can put so much stuff either in my, in my art studio. And some may go in my craft room. If they go in my craft room, they'll be painted like these ones. Very pink, shabby chic style. My craft room is all pink, shabby chic. My art studio, I'm about to decorate my art studio, um, Harry Potter style, like the postal office, like that, and also like the, um, kind of like the, uh, what else was there? Anyway, definitely the post office and kind of the old world librarian type of way. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. So there's this one also, and I'm just showing you these, even though I'm not using them for that purpose, so that if you want to use them to put cookies or baked goods in, look how cute that is. Adorable. So cute. So what does it say? Sweet Christmas wishes. And if you're doing the normal colors for a gingerbread or sweets for your kitchen, really cute to incorporate that in there. Okay, I picked up three of these. I think these are just so flippin' adorable. I kind of want to um, paint these pink. That's why I got them. Yeah, I'm going to paint these pink. I got these two. These are the same. I'm going to paint these pink. And then put, um, and then put like, you know, the macaroons or whatever type of um, pictures I want to put on them. But wouldn't they be cute in the kitchen for my, bake for my bakery kitchen? Or for my, um, <coughs> yeah. Like a bakery, like a sweets bakery. So I got two of this one and then this one. I mean, I don't really care for this one whatsoever the way it is, but painting it pink and then putting my own little whatever on here would be so cute. So, you know, either bakery words or bakery stuff like you saw, macaroons or cakes or whatever. So these will be really cute. I just love the size. They're so small. So that's what I got those ones for. I want to leave these out because I got to paint those pink. I have a tarp outside I got from Dollar Tree and it just stays out there right on my patio. Because <laughs> I just, I'm pink. I'm always spraying things pink. Okay, then I picked up, I think I picked up three of this one. And this one's really cool. It's like a um, recipe box. I really like it. Let me show you what it looks like. And it has like a dome lid. Isn't that cute? And this would be really cute to um, maybe keep all your recipes in it that for when for like your recipes that you have for like um, all your sweets and stuff, cakes and whatever. Look how cute it is. It may not be tall enough for that. Anyway, if not, you can put your different sweets and stuff and give it as gifts. But again, I want to take this one and do what I said. I want to make it very rustic and um, and use it in my art studio for storage. So I will do video on it. It will look nothing like this. It'll look like some aged old metal when I get done with it. Okay. And then I'm trying to get all the same sizes together. Okay, then there's this one. I think this is cute the way it is. Again, I'm going to age it, but this one says candy kisses, Christmas wishes. Look how cute that is. Adorbs. So cute. This one is adorable. I may leave these two because the way they are, because I just, I love the way it looks. It says North Pole, the farm. Isn't that so cool? This just looks so vintage. To me, this looks so Harry Potter. And since I want to do a Harry Potter themed um, art studio, um, so anyway, I just love how that looks. So that may stay the same. I don't know why that looks very Harry Potter-ish to me, but it looks, I think it looks so old world, you know? I love it. Almost like a cigar tin or something. Um, did I show you this one? 
Okay, now this one is bigger. It's the same as this one, but it's a bigger one. And it's, again, it says Candy Cane Lane. These are both so cute. Candy Cane Lane. These are adorable. This would be so cute in a um, sweets in a kitchen if you're going to do a pastry shop or sweets. Mine's going to be sweets and pastries, like candy and pastries. But that's really cute. Done. I got a few more tins to show you. Um, this is that same candy one, candy cane one. I got those. I got a lot of this size because this is the size that I really like. I can put paintbrushes in here, markers, pens, pencils, all of that. Here's another one. It's that same size. Tis the season. And you guys may think that I bought a lot, but when it comes to storage. If you don't even have know what you're going to use it all for, believe me, you just stack those up in your garage. And whenever I buy storage, a lot of it, I end up using it. I use it all. And then I'm sorry I don't have more. So you don't have to know what you're going to use the storage for. Believe me, you'll go right to your garage, pick up those, and start putting stuff in them. Okay, um, I think these are fabulous. Look at the size. Oh, this tin right here is phenomenal. I don't, I, it's not my style as far as the picture, but you know, I'm going to rust this out, make it look all rusted, but I love the shape, how long it is. You can put paint brushes in here. You can put makeup brushes in here. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can put pens, pencils, markers. You can put paper clips, but I just love this style. And they didn't have a ton of these. I think they only had three. I think I'm about to run into those three right now. Yeah. So here's the other two. So here's this style. Again, I'm not too fond of this one either, but I can't wait to rust it out. But I love, I love the way tin feels. It feels so old world. It feels, I just, I love it. Um, this one right here, but I'm showing them to you because maybe you do like them and you might want to put stuff in them. Like little chocolates would be really cute if you're going to use them for Christmas. This is really, really cute. This one I do like the way it is. But again, they're going to be rusted out and... And I may do some um, salvaged art on them also. So, sweets. Uh, this, this is that one size again. I got this one. This is really, really cute, especially for a sweets kitchen if you're doing like the normal Christmas colors because it has the candy canes and it has the um, gingerbread cookies on it. And then the sides are cute. Oh, they're super cute. It's a hot cocoa, gingerbread, and candy canes. That would be really cute in a sweets themed kitchen or pastry kitchen for Christmas. Or it'd be super cute to put cookies in. I know I got, like I said, I know I got a, a ton of these. But this is the thing with these tins. I got exactly what I wanted, how many I wanted. Now I have all these tins to store away. I have all these tins to do um, a rustic um, look to them. And maybe salvage art some of them. Um, and <clears throat> if I didn't buy what I needed plus more, they, they go. I went I went back two days later to get some more for my pastry kitchen. Uh, the cylinder ones, they were gone. In two days, gone completely. So these things, people go crazy on them. So get what you need and get a little more. So... And then I think I have just have two more. Yeah, I have two more. These are the same as I just showed you. Might be a little bit different pattern. No, it's the same pattern. This is this one here that looks like a um, recipe box. Look at this one. A lot of people love cardinals. So this would be really pretty. And they'd be pretty to put gifts in. Put a bunch of makeup in this for someone who loves cardinals. Fill it up with makeup and nail polishes and you can make a whole little you can use these like a little beauty box like a little small beauty box you can make it even look like a little joy box which i probably will do when i when i do some salvaged art on here make some of these look like little joy boxes so these are all to alter so and i think that that is it you guys let's see let me make sure i know you guys that was a lot of tens Especially for someone who's not using them for cookies. But anyway, you guys, that is it. Um, I have the, um, I will be choosing a winner 
for um my last giveaway um on my next video my next video should be sometime during the end of the week and then i'll have in the title um the winner uh not the winner but i'll, I'll have um the giveaway winner in the title so you'll know to look at that video and find out if you won the giveaway or not um and that's it for this one you guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd love for you to do so if you can give this video a thumbs up any comments or questions leave them below come visit me on facebook and instagram um and if you guys if you, if you can't leave a comment if you could just at least hit the thumbs up button that'd be so great i've had i want to say something real quick i've had a lot of new subscribers so i want to say thank you thank you thank you welcome and thank you so much to my ones that have been with me forever okay thank you so much you guys i appreciate it um and that is it. And that's why I've been having all these giveaways to show my appreciation. All right, you guys. I'll talk to you guys next video. Bye.